Thanks for calling this is Sharon. I can help you. Hello, my name is Landalius Truefell. Who, may I ask, am I speaking with today? This is Shell. Hi, Shell. Uh, I don't know if you heard about me. Uh, I am a retired semi-pro football player, award-winning, world-renowned. I'm calling y'all today because what I do is I sponsor and set up senior citizen football leagues. And I tell you that the old folks love it. They get okay, uniforms. Okay, before you, before yes, you go any further, yes, our ma'am. activity lady is not here. She will be here what Monday. The... Actually, everybody is gone for the, Say what? for the weekend. Yes, sir. They won't be back in... Well, some of them will be back my day. I won't. <laughs> I'm all, well, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to go to the house. Say what now? Yes. Well, let me, let me ask you something. You like football? Yes, sir. I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Ben, uh, I'm about Steelers. to hang up on you, girl. 80. You uh, did not I say Steelers. You, you did yes, not I say did. Steelers. What? Yes, sir. Let me ask yes, you sir. something. Let me ask I you something. I was in love with the Steelers when Terry Bradshaw, Lance Warren was in oh, the I can't. I can't stand Terry Bradshaw. Damn. He, he pushed my button. Well, I need to go then. I don't need to talk to you no more. Stop, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> i tell you what my favorite team is. You said the Cowboys, and I'm finna hang up on you. Hey, did I say that yet? Can you give me a chance, girl? <laughs> Ooh, I don't like the Cowboys, boy. Anyway, I like the Inkster Ink Spots. They are not currently... Uh, a team, but you know, back in the late 50s, early 60s, all black, let me tell you something, they knocked heads, knocked people straight on out. The hardest hitting football team I ever, ever seen in my life. You ever hear of them? Listen, uh, I'm trying to get out of here. I okay, love you, sir. Uh, I do. Yes, ma'am. But she will be here Monday. Her name is Red. Red. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh-huh. But now, and she's the one in charge of booking people. Because I like to come in. How, I really, how much you cost? How much? How, what's the price? I, I, don't, I don't cost nothing. Oh, you free? All y'all pay for is the cleats and the uniforms, which I designed. A uh, majority. And we ain't got but a handful. I'm getting barely one. Yeah, but, yeah but, but look here. That's okay. Because I'm going to tell you right now. These old folks, you put the bright colors, the little spangles, and the, and the cleats on them. They have a ball. And the best part of it, the football pants, easy access. You understand? If they got to do their business, you just pull the flap down in the back, fly down, and they right back I out there it. on the field. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, so I'm, I'm gonna talk to Ready Red, and uh, while yeah. I go, call, call her Monday. Monday. Well, does mm-hmm. she like music? She loves music. Cause I like it too, girl. You know I sing too. If the well, football don't come said. out, I sing. I do. I, I would call Red up. I'd be like, Hey, Red, you fire hot. Hey, Red. I know you ain't dead. Hey, Red, I'm coming on over to put these cleats on you. You know, something like that. <laughs> Man, have a good weekend. I'll let you later. Bye. Okie dokie, fine, girl. Bye bye. Thank you for calling. This is Corey. How may I help you? Um, I'm interested in working there, and I'm curious. You know, obviously, I'm <laughs> told I'm very attractive. And um, is this the kind of thing where if I have a million followers, you could sort of just, you know, by talking to you, kind of tell you how hot people say I am? Or how does it work? Um, so you hire or you apply online. It's good to know because, you know, once I get my hair, like if I do my hair and I have my makeup and the whole shebang, it tends to be for people sort of alluring and, and sort of like a siren song. I'm just very, very hot. So, yeah, we already have type of girls like that. Anyone um, with like a, a million followers? Um, yeah, and, I don't think and it I'm, really matters. I think you have to just fill out the paperwork. You know, it's the kind of thing it would be a shame if we didn't get to work together due to like what I'm called is like stunning. And for me, like, it's just sort of a given that there's different tiers of women and I'm kind of, I guess like people say top shelf. Yeah, you, but you have to apply first. But you can't take my word, I'm telling you like 
people seriously f i've had like today like a guy tripped he, and he got up he was like you're beautiful oh my god like he was like holy shit you're you're freaking beautiful and i'm like all right like i know thank you thank you thank you like i always say thank you to be nice but i'm just like looking for kind of instant results because do you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand that. I mean, you could talk to my manager if you want. I mean, if you could put in a word and say you just talked to one of the hottest people you've ever heard, you know? Okay, yeah, I'll let him know. I think I'm a 10, and I've been told I'm a 10. Like, my comments half the time are literally 10. Someone even the other day I thought was so funny, they were like, a 1,000 out of 10. <laughs> I yeah. said, that's too crazy. Like, I'm don't make me big headed, you know? Yeah. And it's a gift and it's a privilege. I honestly, you know, my old minister used to tell me like in one on ones, he was like, this is something God gave you. Yeah. And some people can sing and some people can do taxes. And like, I can't. But I'm so, so hot. Yeah, I'll definitely let him know. But I used to ride horses and I had to stop because the horses were trying to get with me. Yeah. Well, if you are interested, just come in and they'll interview you. And then if you, they think you're good enough, then they'll hire you on the spot. No paperwork. I love that. Thank you so much, girl, because that's the thing. Yeah. I want to be hired on the spot. That's the kind of bitch I am. Like, I'm not trying to do paperwork. You know, it's like, come on, what am I, a dork? All right. So just come in if you're interested then. I'll see you in two minutes. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for calling. This is Corey. How may I help you? Corey, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I've been trying to reach you because I was just on my way to come in for the job that you offered me. And I there's scaffolding outside my apartment. I walked out to take my little Pomeranian out and this crowbar fell on my face. Just now? Yeah, so like now I'm like shaking because I'm ugly. I don't think that they would like take that against you. Okay, well, I've just lost, like, 10 Instagram followers because I posted, like, a live Insta about what was going on. And so I'm just scared your manager's going to be like, okay, neck down, yeah, yeah. But, like, face is busted, and I don't know. Like, I'm bleeding, and I, I feel like one of my teeth is in half. Yeah, maybe you should go to the hospital first. Like, I'm still hot, and, like, obviously my boobs are fine, and my stomach's still flat, and my ass is still, like, you could bounce a quarter off it, but my face is, like, a monster. Okay. Hot is a state of mind. Once you've been hot this long, it ain't going nowhere, bitch. Yeah, bye. Thanks for the job. Hey, Insta fam. Um, like I said, I've been hit by some sort of crowbar, scaffolding, or both, like a combo. I don't even know. At this point, I'm hurting, and you can see this contusion. I'm freaking out because I thought you guys were my family. And I know I'm hot, and you know I'm hot, so it's not fair. <laughs> Listen, I came down there a little bit ago, and I think you guys sold me the wrong thing because I, I ain't the same <laughs> from when I came in. You know what I'm saying? I came down there to buy a vape pen, correct? Are you with me so far? Yes. And I came home and I smoked the damn vape pen, and ever since then, I've been doing stuff that's weird. Oh. My voice is different. All of a sudden, I sound like an asshole. I've never heard of that. Do you know what it's like to wake up? and realize that you have changed? Uh, I mean... To realize that the day before, you were a family man with a beautiful wife and three children, and then the next day, you were an asshole named Dr. Penis, who seems to have cut all the sleeves off of his shirt and tied them into a loop for no reason? I don't know, man. I can't stop listening to dubstep. I'm, I'm, all of a sudden, I'm flossing. I got a tiny backpack. I got pink dreadlocks, green dreadlocks, purple dreadlocks. Make no sense. I missed the I missed the birth of my son. Oh. Because I was at home watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie. You got a rock climbing place next door? Yes. I somehow ended up on the roof of that thing. I should not be able to do that thing. I'm not a Spider-Man. But yeah, like, what is this about? 
I came to your store and I bought a vape pen. I smoked the shit out of it. When I okay. got home, I started doing crazy things. Before I came into your place, my name was Daniel Sharon. After I left your place, everyone started calling me Dr. Penis. I sound weird. And now, all of a sudden, I got a geese in my house. Mm. I joined the band Belle Biv DeVoe and then quit instantly. That don't make no sense. Can you explain to me that? Can you nope. explain to me why I got a tattoo of Bib Fortuna, the translator from Jabba the Hutt scene in Return of the Jedi? Why I got the full back tattoo of that? Why would I do such a thing? Because I came in there and I uh, smoked your vape pen and it made me crazy. Mm. It made me a weirdy. Yeah, I think you might have been crazy before that. Dude. I think you might have been crazy before you just said that because if you were, you would not have. Uh. I had a nine to five job before I came into your place with that vape pen. All of a sudden I'm 700 pounds. I'm three inches shorter. And my hands are where my feet used to be. I tried to use a fork the other day and I almost took my eye out because I was using my feet. I didn't remember to use my hands, and it scared me. I, I I don't know, bro. I'm scared. Don't act so nonchalant. Act chalant. Um, just like chill out, I guess. Oh, oh, just okay. Okay, hold on. Let me just let me just do that. Huh? Okay, now I better. Guess what? It didn't work. You didn't like successfully like try to chill out man you gotta like you know sit. what though I, I i'm not even gonna call you out on that one you are right i was being sarcastic so i'm trying to calm down okay breathe in okay thank you then breathe out <sighs> okay then breathe in again <sighs> oh man i think i might be normalizing now yeah i'm feeling a lot better <laughs> i'm thinking about like my taxes and stuff uh Oh, man, I have to call my assistant. I have to be in court in a half an hour. I'm a judge. Oh, boy. How am I going to get... I have to... Hey, do you know a number of a tattoo removal place? I have three Dr. Penis tattoos I need to get removed in the next half an oh, hour. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... Oh, hold on one sec. My wife is calling me. Yeah. No, I'm better now, honey. Yeah. No, you can call me Dan again. No. <laughs> I know. No, not Dr. Penis anymore. Sorry. I love you. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> This feels extremely one-sided. Uh. All right, I'm going to hang up. Care. Good afternoon. Hello? Hello? Hello, darling. Hello? Who are you? My name is Elmer, and I'm calling about your products. So what would you like to know about our product? I'm calling to thank you, people. OK. For? For giving me the freedom to live my life again as a man. I bought someone else diapers from you people, like a baby wears. And you have your freedom again? I could go anywhere I need to. I used to have to go in a can under my chair. And now I can go anywhere I need to. Well, I'm glad we were able to help you. You did help me, darling. You saved my life. Thank you for that. OK, I'll pass because that. Because this is the beautiful products that you people make over there. And I sleep in them. And I change them once a week. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful gift. Because I can make a BM wherever I go. Well, thank you for calling. I'll let our owners know that. What's your owner's name? Uh, John. Your owner's named after a bathroom, huh? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> In my day, we used to say, you have to go to the John. And then these fellas were named John, and I always thought Turlet. Whenever I hear the name John, I think Turlet. And now whenever I have to go to the Turlet, I make a big, brown, beautiful duty in my pants. I could do it when I'm eating, when I'm walking. I'm thinking about going to the movies and doing it. Well, good for you. I'm so happy because I'm making beautiful bowel movements I want to show you what I made. But I'm going to have to go. i got to take care of another customer. Well, who Thank is the you other? Wait a minute. Hold on a second here. I'm making one right now. Hold on. 
Can you hear it? Oi. I was just calling to uh, make a complaint in my neighborhood. Okay, who is this? My name is Shasta. Uh-huh. Um, there is a white guy walking around in my neighborhood. Uh-huh. He's wearing Crocs. Okay, where? Well. He's whistling Aerosmith songs. Okay, now, who told you to call me? <laughs> You're on a list for the neighborhood watch. Yeah, right now I'm out of commission. He's drinking Jamba Juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have there been any other reports of white people in this neighborhood? No. I mean, we got white people in the neighborhood. I mean, we can't, you know, discriminate against that because, you know, by people. I don't know what I'd like to Maybe he just walked in the neighborhood. But it's just very frustrating to me. You know, it's surprising he's eating a man egg sandwich. Mm. Ma'am, I, I need yeah. you to come get him. I can't. I, I'm a citizen, just like you are. Me and you should run up on his ass. No, man. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not run up on nobody. The next thing you know, he's just gonna be listening to Dave Matthews Band or some damn Steve Miller Band. Like, what music you listen to? If you need to call the police, then call the police. We need to sure fight for it. The next thing you know, the, the bodega gonna be selling the Tantino's pizza rolls and bagels. Oh, all we can do is just like I say. Uh, we should. Have, Try to work together with it, but we can't work uh, uh, together if nobody don't, oh, no, uh, I you know, pull through with us. I just don't like what he's wearing. He, he... Ma'am, I can't help you if you're going to keep uh, complaining on the phone if we can't oh my get God. someone out here. Now he's yelling, does anybody have kombucha? What the hell is kombucha? Before you know it, all our nice concrete ground going to be grass, and he going to be out here just, just killing golf balls. I'm sorry, uh, I'm paired. I can't help you. Have you ever been with a white guy? What they got to do with it, man? What 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 they got to do with it? Cause I need to know whose side you on in this matter. I can't help you. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Uh, you need to either call the police. If I can't call them for you or uh, get someone over there, it's like Connecticut up in here. Cut off your ponytail. Who told you to call me? Oh my God, he's. Oh Lord, he's opening a yoga studio. This is Sue with Can we help you? Hi, uh, my name is Hadassah Guberman, and I would love to apply for the job. Which job? The job is labeling uh, envelopes, 12 cents an envelope, I, it says. Yes. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, one thing that's kind of a stickler for me is I just like it irks me. Like, I don't like to be told what to do. Mm hmm. So I just don't want to be bossed around because I'm I'm strong and independent. Mm-hmm. Um, the bathrooms need to be gender neutral. I mean, I'm I identify as female, but my penis is a, a them. Um, I don't know how that would work. Yeah, when you walk out of the bathroom, there is one uh, male and female bathroom, but there's not like a family restroom. I don't think in the building. Well, that would probably have to change. Is it okay that I have herpes? I'm riddled with herpes. But it's self-contained and it's only vaginal. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess I, I probably wouldn't share that information. It's more personal information, but... Right. Um, I guess I just wanted to tell you, Susan, because, you know, if it was a problem... I mean, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> hey, when I'm doing the envelopes, you know how some people, if they're listening to music, they get more done or whatever? I like to watch, um, do you know Pornhub? Yeah, this uh, uh, this calls a little, like, I'm, I'm thinking you might not just be the right fit. Everyone in the office could sign a contract that says they won't listen to me go ploppers in the bathroom because... Um, this is not cool, just letting you know. You know what? No, you're so right, and I... I just want to apologize for everything and for wasting your time. I'd love to sing you a song to show how sorry I am. 
<clears throat> um, Susan, I'm so sorry I wasted your time. Nobody's time should be wasted but mine. I'm sorry I said ploppers to you. You didn't deserve it and nobody do. Do. I'm sorry, Susan Pie. Oh my god, that was an awesome song, by the way. But... Oh, thank you so much. No, it's fine. I'll have to reach out to you, and if he seems like it'll be a good fit, then we'll bring you on. I'd love to work side by side with you, Susan. Honestly, at this point, I think it would be a good time. It would be beshert. I don't know what that means, but I will look that up. Okay, take care, my love. Else may I help you? Hi. Yeah, uh, I'm calling. I, I rented a car uh, from you guys yesterday, but I am actually calling because the man who assisted me, I felt like there was um, some vibes, and I just, I just wanted to call and see maybe if I could, you know, connect. Do you remember? helping me yesterday no i don't unfortunately if it's you i'm gonna go nuts i don't know if it was you yeah i wasn't even working yesterday i mean i kind of now that we're talking i kind of wish you were working yesterday do you remember what they looked like um he was really handsome like kind of a dimple on one side okay and i don't remember seeing a wedding ring okay well, if you want to give me your phone number... Wait, would I be giving you my phone number, like, for for them? Yes. Or for you? For them. We can talk in code if you if we have to. Are, you, are there other people around you can't really, like, tell me their story? Possibly, yes. Say escalator. If there's someone listening, you can't say exactly what you want to say. I'll. I got a couple other people here. If you if you want to leave me your phone number, I can more than happily give it to, to the person that may be able to help you tomorrow. So you want my number? Sure. Yes. You do. Yes. Escalator. You want it. Okay. Yes. All right. Get that pen ready, baby. Hey. Okay. Ready. It's four. Eight zero six six five. Wait, someone's listening to me now. Escalator. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be right back. Uh huh. My boss, he has such a crush on me. Do you have that? Yeah. Oh, All the time. All the time, right? It's like that's not cool. All right. Well, look, I got I got a couple other customers here. Okay. Me too. Okay. I'll transfer your number tomorrow. Okay. What was your first name again? My name is Cheryl Brandish. Okay, Cheryl. And I'm also available-ish. <laughs> and I work at the mattress. Okay. You know the one. There's like a... Yeah, I know Across the it. highway. It has an inflatable gorilla on the roof. You kind of can't miss it. It's the flagship. Got it. What's your name again? Carlos. Carlos. Keep killing it. Escalator! All right. Escalators! All right. <laughs> Say it, Carlos. Escalator. I love you, too. Okay. Bye. Bye. Love. Talk at you later. Bye. Love you. This is Jenny. How can I help you? Hey, hello, Jenny. This, my name is Spoonie Love from up above. Um, I'm just wanting to call and inquire about your facilities. I mean, your staff, do you have, like, cool people on your staff? Um, yes, we have, have cool like, people, people that people that, that can here? keep secrets and stuff like that? Um, I'm not really sure. Well, do you have any do disturb signs? We do not have signs that say do disturb. So how do I how am I supposed to let the mage know to come in? You would remove your do not disturb sign, and then you could let us know, and we can schedule a time if that's easier. This is the baby boom weekend, and that's the thing. You know, we role play all the time. You know what I mean? Uh, 
Yeah, we right. Right. you know what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm Spoonie Love. I'm trying to keep it hot and together, you know? We role yeah. play. We role play. You know, last week, yeah, that's she was okay, in so character. She said, Mister, do you want to buy some butter crunch cookies? And I said, yeah, come on in here. I'm going to buy a couple of boxes from you. And then, and then we had sex like animals. Then we said, then we had, ate the cookies. Okay. You, I can't keep that talking was, to you because no, that was too racy. No, I'm not trying to be racy. We just want to come and use your hotel. Okay. Well, let me see. We just want to make some babies. All right. Let me see what we got. What is your email? Okay. Spoony Love, a.k.a. Caligula, at flaccidmandingo.com. Gmail. That is not Gmail. a real email. No, no, gmail.com. Sorry. <laughs> Where is it? You guys are going to have a good time. Petey the pit bull <laughs> won't hurt nobody. I'll have him on a leash. Y'all sit there. All right. So we just have if a couple of... If you guys want to get involved, you're more than welcome. Okay, that's too racy. No, I'm We're a black man. I'm dark. I'm a black, dark man. Okay, listen. I think that you're really funny, but I'm not ultimately, being funny. I can't keep having I'm this conversation real. with you. I'm What kind of toes you got? Your toes look like Skittles? Okay, well, I'm going to let you go. Would you have my baby? Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to send you an email with all of your options. But I really got to go because there's a line of people here that want to talk to me. So what are we going to name the important. baby? What you want to name the baby? <sighs> Tracy. Wow. Bye. <laughs> We've been had, fellas. We've been made. It's calling both. This is Emily. How can I help you? Hi, Emily. Uh, my name is Brad, and I am doing a little birthday shopping for my father. Um, if you don't mind, I'm patching in my twin brother, Mork. Hi. Mork. Okay. Hi, it's, hi, it's Mork, and we're just looking for a little gift for Daddy. Mm-hmm. I have some ideas. Oh. Um, my brother has some ideas, and we wanted to pitch you some of these and see if we can get your opinion so we can get a wonderful gift for Daddy. Problem is, last year we did go to the Dutch bakery, and he hated it. It wasn't this Dutch bakery in particular. Okay. But uh, maybe Mark can speak to the particulars. Yeah. We worked very hard, hard on that Dutch cake for Daddy. Oh, and he sure, th- yeah. He threw it, and I don't think he was aiming for Mork, but... I did get a lot of that mocha right in my on my eyes. Oh no! You know, Daddy loves meat pies, and I'm wondering mm-hmm. if you could do some kind of meat themed concoction without mocha. Yeah, I think I think what what Mark's circling around is uh, almost like a wedding cake, but inside is nothing but meat, like maybe ground beef, ground lamb. He loves he loves venison. Okay, we well we don't. But know from the outskirts, from the outskirts, if you're just coming in the door, you go, oh, sweet cake, great. And then you cut in, and hot meat trickles down, and the fat from the meat percolates you know, was, through the tips. I wonder if we can get a meat cake so big that more could get inside, and I could be in there for a couple hours. Maybe we can use a straw for breathing, and right before Daddy comes in, you pull out the breathing straw. And I leap out of the meat cake, and it's molten hot with jalapeno spice. What's the price on that? Uh, well, we don't really have any meat cake, um, and I don't think we can make our cake big enough to have a person pop out of it. So. Well, you have, we haven't told you how big Mork is. <laughs> yeah, it's not something we laugh about. Mork is under two feet tall. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't appreciate being laughed at. I'm calling... To, to get my daddy a cake, and it's it's not it's not that, that bad that I'm that small, but I also have one glass eye. Do you know just like what kind of design or like flavors you would be looking for? We love Shrek. Shrek. We could Shrek the shit out of that cake. We put shitload of Shrek all over it. Green bullshit on there. Maybe a big Shrek uh, Shrek winking with donkey next to him. And you can just. Um, give us an, some extra icing, and, and Mort could get all iced up like a donkey. And right when Daddy walks in the room, Mort will raise up on his two hind hooves and say, Daddy, are you finally proud of me? And I could pop my eye in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mort's eye fell out, and we're running after it. I got it. He coming. I got, hold on. I'm sorry. Can you help me? Okay, it's in. Well, we don't have the right to doing any um, specific characters, so we would have to. Oh, man. 
Yeah, we would have to. We got to get Daddy a cake. It's his 40th, and we just want it to be a special day for him, you know. He only has so many more years left. I'm sorry, gentlemen. I I don't really have a lot of time to design a cake like this. I do recommend setting up a consultation with our cake coordinator, and she'd be happy to throw those ideas around. We'll, we'll put Mork in a paper bag and get, get over to you as soon as we can. Okay, stop. Good evening. Thank you for calling. This is Tanya. How can I be your service? I was looking online and I saw that your hotel might be haunted. Is that true? Um, so we say we're haunted supposedly because of our third and fourth floor. Um, during the Civil War, they were um, hospitals. Oh, shit. So it's men up in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Girl, book me a room on the floor where the most of them died. <laughs> All right. What's some of the stories that you've heard from your hotel? So um, they said that there's a soldier missing the arm walking around on the fourth floor. Mm. Um, then they said that there's a ghost cat on the second floor that's running around. I just left New Orleans. Okay. Girl, the ghost dick there, whack. Yeah, so, because, yeah, because in New Orleans, you would have had Confederate troops. So here, at least you got the U- the the Union one. I'm going to tell you right now, though, ain't nothing like some ghost dick. Like, first off, you can't get no STDs from it. Oh, wow. But they are hard to ride. I'm not going to lie to you. But once you go dead, you never leave the bed. Is that what your experience was in New Orleans? I probably should let myself be musty, because that will probably attract them more. If it works for you, you let me know. <laughs> well, then I'm going to have to go ahead and s- some ghost dick. Ay, she ready. <laughs> what if I get pregnant by a ghost, girl? Me and my little ghost baby. I'm ovulating that week. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, a few weeks ago, I was in L.A., and I had uh, I hooked up with Tupac. Don't tell nobody. Oh, well, that's definitely a ghost. Like, it was me and Tupac, right? Then B showed up, and I was like, nope, that's too much for me. They were in the same room? Yes, girl, they friends. Okay. They thought they was going to run a train on me, but I wasn't having it. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. Hotel, I got to tell you the truth. I'm actually a ghost. I'm, I'm here in the hotel. I can't get out. <laughs> Are you calling from a room? And just so you know, I am that cat. You can be nice sometimes and pet me. <laughs> you know. You ever a ghost cat? No, ma'am. I have not. Uh, well, um, I'm going to have to let you go. You feel something on your leg right now? That's me. <laughs> okay, you have a, a wonderful day, okay? I'm your new spirit animal. Thank you. It's so good. Forever. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bike shop, this is Ethan. Oh, sorry, I butt dialed you. Oh. That happens to me all the time. Does that, ha- does that happen to you a lot? Yeah. Oh, man, I can't believe I butt dialed again. Where, who am I talking to? This is Ethan at his bike shop. Oh, I love bikes. I sit on them all the time. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, man, I feel like, I feel like a, a real butt. Oh, it's all right. It happens. I'm I'm a butt. It's okay. Uh, do you have any good deals on bikes? Uh, we have some, some marked down just uh end of the year stuff. Do you sell just bike seats? Yeah. Oh, that's nice because I'm a big old butt. Um, I get it. I don't. People don't like to admit that, but there's nothing wrong with it. I am who I am. A butt. I have big red cheeks, and uh, I make doo doo. Uh, I just feel I feel like we're butt buddies at this point. Uh, I guess so. I like you. I like you a lot. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate you talking to me. I didn't mean to call you, but now that I did, it feels like fate. Okay. Are you are you stoned? No. I'm kind of stoned. Sounds like it. Did you have any questions for me? No, I definitely do not. Uh, can I just run something by you? Sure. Knock, knock. Who? You say, who's there? Nope. But. 
get it? Amber, this is... How can I help you today? Um, I'm just calling to ask about doing a ritual on the lumber yard, but I'm also interested in building a breakfast nook for my house, and I was wondering if that was something you could help me with, too. So what is it that you need to know, then? I do believe that I have to bless the wood that I believe that you, you have all murdered before I build the breakfast nook in my kitchen, but the bottom line is I want to buy a bunch of wood. Mm -hmm. And I just need to know in what way these pieces were murdered. Um, I would have to find that out. Usually is that they are sawed down by um, loggers. I mean, sawed I mean, that's down. all, that's all, that's all that I know is that, you know, they take a chainsaw, God. you know, and they, oh, well, the I'm, screams of the forest haunt you at night? Um, I don't do that. Um, I'm just, um, a cashier. Oh, don't tell me you've never held a saw here, before. And, um, I have not. Okay, my sisters and I are gathering. We're going to be traveling to the lumber yard soon to pick out our, our murdered sisters. Okay. But you should know that our robes are translucent. Uh, you will be able to see everything. Uh, we're um, very you enticing, have, you so have you'll to, have to tell yeah. the lumber yard guys not to stare at us. I have no control over anybody else's um, what they do or see or whatever, and you would have to come to our manager at the time. Um, for permission to do that, so. How much does each murdered soul cost per foot? It depends on the size and um, the length. You should know that all sisters are uh, all sisters are bound. Okay, so but I have, shouldn't I have be other afraid. customers, so I am not afraid of anything, so. Well, your other customers probably couldn't give you the power to seek revenge on your enemies. Okay. Well, it's been nice talking to you, and like I said, before you do any kind of blessing or anything, you'll have to speak to the oh, manager. Oh, no, we will be do a, doing a blessing tonight. We will be showing up in our robes. We will be completely naked underneath, covered in blood, fur, hair. We will be locating as many bones as we um, can on the property. We will be using closed, charcoal to burn closed. them, and we will be saving the At souls of our murdered sisters that you have so carelessly sawed down bone, bone of my bone, bone flesh of my flesh, flesh. pray for, for my murdered sisters, sisters and guide me to the perfect tile for my backsplash you have a really great day I'm also interested in a pizza oven for my coven Good afternoon, thank you for calling this is how can I help you? Hi, I believe that your shop sold my boyfriend a purple fedora, velvet. Okay. So essentially his entire personality has shifted. What is the deal with these fedoras? Did you tell him something when he bought the fedora possibly that might have puffed him up and made him feel like he's king shit? I'm not really sure. I've never heard of something like this happening before. So you've never seen like a customer, they walk in there and they're kind of a dweeb and then all of a sudden they put it on. They're like, oh, check me out. Now I'm a totally different dude than the one that you started dating. Um, there can definitely be a level of confidence that can be boosted when you feel good in, a, in an article of clothing. Well, you sound confident. I'm confident. I, do you have a fedora right now on? I don't. I do. I'm currently wearing a fedora, yes. Ugh, it just gets worse and worse. He won't even take it off, like, in bed. Okay, what would you like me to do? I'm not really Well, sure here's the else. thing. I'll tell you what I'd like you to do, and it's very specific. I, last night when he was asleep, and he's so pissed at me right now, I took this freaking hat, and I cut it up with scissors into little freaking tiny pieces. And what I want to do is bring you a bag of those pieces and I want you to give me my money back because what you did is irresponsible and it's not right. He's so mad at me now and this has almost been like a relationship ender. Because we sold him a hat. It's, it's a relationship ender. That's what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. I'm going to call some higher ups and see what we can do and one of them will probably give you a call. Is that okay? How many higher ups is it? Like 16 of them wearing gold hats somewhere in a mansion? <whistles> and you're, you're, you're making a profit by taking people's souls.
the devil is alive. Is there anything else I can help you with today, Jocelyn? I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, I want to buy a fedora for myself. I want him to see what it feels to be on the receiving end of the arrogance and the bravado, the confidence that seems it will never end of someone wearing a fedora. Wow. I want 100 fedoras, and I'm going to burn them in a pile outside your store. Big old fedora bonfire, and you ask the higher-ups if they're all right with that. Ma'am, I literally cannot be a part of this conversation anymore. Sir? You can call me whatever you like. No, I'm saying I am a sir. I identify as he. Okay, my apologies, sir. Thank you. I hate fedoras! Is it okay if we end this conversation now? So I can you do not talk. you do not have my consent. Okay, so I'm just supposed to sit on the phone with you all day. Uh, I would appreciate it. I've never had one friend. I I'm sorry. That's a personal issue. I'm I'm working. I honor you. You honor me. Will you be my friend? Take off your fedora, and come meet me for a late lunch. I'm not meeting you outside of work. I'm not meeting you anywhere. This We're is rocking. an issue We're that rolling. is out of my hands. I, I have a pet. what I can do. Muskrat. And you're not letting me help you. He will. By not letting me get off the phone. and Come to your store and lead you to me. Hello. With whom am I speaking? Um... Alana. Alana, this is Niall Standish. I have lice. Mm-hmm. Alana, I'm wondering if you could help me. Sure. I inherited a small orangutan in her preteen years, and I need to curb her diet. So I'm going to need to remove some of my lice. How do lice work? Lice work by passing one to another for the entirety of humankind. Once you have a pregnant female, she is pregnant for the rest of her life and can lay fertile eggs and make new life. Oh, are you an ape enthusiast like I am? I mean, I have many times wished I could bring an ape into the office to pick through people's hair just because it would be fun. Well, if you're hiring, Sharon would be wonderful. She's good at small-scale lice removal and you don't have to pay her. She eats what she removes. It's a win-win. Mm-hmm. I've had Sharon since she was a babe. I brutally murdered her mother on a game expedition in the Congo, unaware she had an adorable little baby. What luck! Okay. We have a whole circle. What we do is Sharon eats my lice, my brother Giles picks the lice off Sharon, then I eat Giles' lice. Who's Giles? Giles, my twin brother. Oh. I want to talk to her. No, Giles. Back in the box. Not this call. So, tell me more about that permanently pregnant lice female. The female louse, she comes onto your hair and she'll just lay eggs all day, every day, until she dies. And then they'll hatch and mate and lay eggs on your hair all day until they die. It sounds like my Aunt Bernice. <laughs> she popped them out like an Appalachian meth mom. Alana, I don't want to eradicate these lice, but they're completely out of control now. Completely out of control. Um, yes, that is what they do. So is there somewhere, is this a number that I can... Alana, hold on a moment. Giles and Sharon are at it again. <laughs> Giles, do not ride Sharon. I'm sorry, Sharon, do not ride Giles. One of the lice has grown so large it's trying to eat Sharon. All right. Get it, Giles. Giles is riding the giant lice. Get down from there. What do you... Oh, hold on, I'm jumping on. All right, the three of us are riding off on the giant lice. Alana, lice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Doodles, love. Hi, this is Terrence Catheter, and I represent Paris Hilton. You know who she is, obviously. Absolutely. Paris has an incredible idea. She wants to get married. Oh. To her chihuahua. Amazing. They are very much in love. You've probably seen their posting together on Instagram. And she's just like, you know what? Let's do this. I mean, neither one of us is going to live forever. One of us much shorter than the other. And so let's tie the knot. Let's make this happen. Absolutely. So when was she thinking of doing this? What we're thinking is a uh, half human, half dog type guest situation. So we'd have about 100 people and 100 dogs. 
we're thinking maybe we would have bowls with the guest names on them. And it would be, I think it would be such a cute thing for the people to get down on their hands and knees and to eat right alongside the dogs. Okay. And we think we'll get a great deal of attention for both her and for your place. Um, so I don't know if you've seen online, maybe Agave Street. That's like yes. Our, like, oh, it's beautiful. Things. It's totally Agave. The whole thing seems so Agave to me. <laughs> Are there any squirrels on the premises? I'm sure there are. Okay, that could be a problem because Sergio does get a little crazy around them and he likes to rip them up. So if we could just, I don't know, exterminate all the squirrels or whatever before we get there, we would so appreciate it. Well, Is the pool open for the dogs? Uh, no, we don't allow any outside uh, animals or any animals. What about the hot tub? The hot tub is in the same pool area, so no. These are like largely purse dogs. So. Oh, I figure it's less. I mean, they do get a little crazy. They are animals, and there will be some leg humping, and probably we'll have some accidents. Yeah. And drugs, too. We'd love to have some drugs. Well, we can't do that here. Oh, gotcha. Wink, wink. The honeymoon suite. Let's talk about that. So there's just a suite here that we have here. It's our biggest um, suite here. Great. That's where they will, I guess, consummate this thing. Um, regular bed or dog bed? Just a regular bed. And I am going to speak to Paris about their first child, because if it is a girl, I would love them to name it after you. Thank you so much. Now, when we do meet Paris, please don't look her in the eyes, because they're a little bit dead. <laughs> okay. This is so hot, isn't it? <laughs> Very much so. This is going to be bigger than Harry and Megan. Oh, even better. Because Megan isn't a dog. All righty. Have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you for calling. The this is Ryan. How can I help you? Hey, hey, uh, Ryan, good good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? Good, yourself? Uh, very good. This is the Reverend Lonnie Calderson. Uh, I'm pastor of First Baptist. And I had a quick question about the games. I wanted to bring some of my congregation. Sure. What I was trying to find out was what exactly is the cost to do one of those stadium scoreboard uh, the dedications? So I got... Like a little shout out? I know uh, some of my more uh, secular relatives told me that they do something where where people, uh, I believe, they kiss one another. It's it basically just like a, they call it a kiss cam. I would assume they win condoms or some sort of prophylactics if they're kissing. Not, their... We're not looking for X-rated stuff. We're just, you know, like a, a couple out and about and just having, enjoying them, themselves at the game, so... I wanted to just put a little message on the board, and I just I, you let me know if this message is something that could be approved. Okay. Uh, I wanted to say to my wife, Carolyn, who's the first lady of my church, I wanted to tell her I'm having an affair with a woman half your age okay. who accepts me as a sexual being you don't put out, and I'd like to split the difference and invite this woman named Candy. Yes, her name is Candy, and I think you could learn a lot from one another we need to buy a king-size bed instead of this queen mattress so that there's room for candy in the bed. Amen. That I would not be able to do. Have you ever had a dream? Have I had a dream? Of course I have. Because I've had a dream. I have a dream that one day my wife and candy and I will fornicate together in the promised land. Amen. That's a good dream to have for you. What's more family friendly than a man making a bigger family with a 22-year-old? Couldn't answer that for you. I just want to make sure that, that the message is possible. And I'll tell Candy to wear underwear for this event. I mean, I don't know, is a, a giant, like a large group setting, is that appropriate to do? Well, all these people are going to be gossiping anyway, so they may as well see the truth as it unfolds. What if, what, if you talk to, what if you talk to my wife for me? Yeah, I don't know if I feel comfortable with that. She's, she's not going to stab me. I, I, you know, it seems like you know something that you guys could work out. I don't know if I want to get involved in it, so. And then you put up there, Carolyn, I'm sorry, but candy is better for me. Oh, hell no. Get your ass off the phone and tell me who the f is candy. Let me call you back. I got to pray with my wife.
Hi, this is Terry. Terry, I need to talk to somebody who recently passed away. Can you help me? I can, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, thank God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Terry. Look, my, my uncle, he, he passed away, and he, he was handling, like, all my, my finances and stuff. So he has, like, my, my, my ATM mm-hmm. number, and I don't know none of that. So I need to get in touch with him so he can give me that information and, 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 and get my money yeah. before his no-good kids get their mitts on it. Yeah, definitely. Okay, his name is Ronald Harper. Okay. He looks like an old Jamie Foxx. Oh, cool. Who drank too much. Who <laughs> drank too much. <laughs> yeah. If you get a whiff of gin, that's him. Yeah, he's he's giving me the number 1217. One, one, two, one, seven. Okay, wait, let me let uh-huh. me try that. Let me see if this if that works. Yeah. Let me and let if, me see. If that doesn't work, you're just gonna have to go to the bank and Should get get him to give one, you a new card and a new one, pin number. Two, one, seven. Terry, t- I'm, I'm in. I meant you did it. Oh, good. It's working. <laughs> Woo! Good. Okay. Now I got my money. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I could cry. Now ask him, okay. what is his HBO Gold password? Uh, trying. Yeah, hang on. I'm trying. Oh, it makes me yawn when spirit connects. Yeah. You know, I, I I would not be surprised because he, he was always he was he was such a boring man. Uh, uh, bananas. Bananas. Let me try. Let me try that. Okay. T- Terry, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> you are two for two. Now I can catch up on all my shows. Oh my goodness. That's wonderful. Oh. That is wonderful. How do I pay you? Okay, you can go to PayPal or you can read me a debit card number right here. I can run it through my machine. I tell you, just just look at my debit card. <laughs> can you do that? I do that? I don't think so. Can you read it to me? Oh, shit. His wife just texted me. Oh, 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 wait a minute. She said the bank accounts are empty. Oh, shit. Terry, she oh. knows. She knows I'm cleaning them out. Oh, oh my. Terry. Should I go to Cabo or Brazil? Oh, Cabo. Can I go to Cabo? Yeah. Okay, I'm off to Cabo. Okay. Put a spell on her real quick. Her name is Emma. Get that bitch, Terry. I'll, I'll wire you the money here. <laughs> I'm out. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Adios. Thank you for calling the National Audubon Society. This is Sarah. How may I help you? Hi. Uh, so, uh, yes, my name's Bob. I, I actually had a question for you about a bird. I have a, do you know the uh, the ring systems for your doorbell? Uh, yeah. I've noticed this, uh, a bird outside my house, and it, it hovers near the ring, so I have it on video, and I've been able to describe it, but I can't find it for the life of me, and I've even uh, searched through my Audubons and and just can't figure it out. I thought you might be able to help. Okay. It's got a purple crown and a red breast, but it then turns white. Let me scroll through a ring here. Oh, no, he's flying out into the yard. Oh, there's Rusty. Rusty, is, uh, he's my neighbor. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Where are you located? Uh... Yeah, no, I, uh, I'm just seeing something on here that's uh, throwing me for a... My wife uh, has walked out, and it looks like they're uh, sharing a, a kiss. Um, get back to this bird. So the bird is flitting around. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. They are they walked out of frame, and they're back in the frame. Some heavy kissing. Well, if you need to go and deal with that, you can always give us a call back. Right, like French kissing, like open mouth. Yeah, well, I'd be happy to help you with the bird, but, yeah. Yeah, so the bird is, it's its almost like an eastern bluebird, uh, but but not. Um, is it possibly a barn swallow? I, I don't think so. I've, I've seen my way around a couple barn swallows, and I, oh, God, I'm sorry. Hang on one second. I'm seeing another image that's. Hard to see. 
<sighs> I'm so sorry. That's okay. <laughs> you just assume that you're... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I keep this on the birds. Take your time. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think it's a barn swallow. Maybe a titmouse. That's always been the weirdest name, because it's like, yeah. if anything, if I was naming it, I'd call it a breast mouse, a more respectful <laughs> name. Anyway, I, I don't think it's a bird of prey, but it could be. I don't know. Have you tried any of the bird identification uh, sites online? Oh, my God. There's another... I'm so sorry. There's another person coming in here. What in the heck is going on here, Janine? Good God. Rusty's gone now, and that's my friend Jim. Well, I'm... Oh, God. It's like when it rains, it pours, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, he's wheelbarrowing her. God darn guy is wheelbarrowing her. Clothes are on, nothing, nothing, but it's just like, you know, when something... Yeah, I I understand, and I'm going to have to let you go, okay? Well, I got good news, and I got bad news. Uh, it is a, a blue eastern finch, but uh, there are now five men. Thanks for calling Audubon. Hello, this is Niall Standish calling. I'm going to be a shopping center Santa Claus. And I need some alterations on a suit. Would that be something you could handle? Uh, should be, yeah. Now, I've just moved into town. I've left all my old Santa gear behind. It was burned in an incinerator. I want a fresh start. The clean Santa suit. No stains or evidence whatsoever. I'd like the belly to be completely exposed, more like a bare midriff. I... Wouldn't you want to see jolly old St. Nick's tummy really shake when he giggles? Well, I, you know, it depends on who you are. Mm, yes, I'm the Duke of Yankerville. Now, listen, my suit will need a long front zipper just in case a brawl breaks out. I don't like to bloody up the suit. I'd rather fist the cuffs in the raw anyway. Hmm. What would be the thinnest fabric that you could make the suit out of? You'd need at least something the weight of a knit. I want something as thin as a spray tan. I don't think that really exists in terms of fabric. There's visual effects that are as thin as a spray tan. You know the legend of Santa's surprise pocket? I don't. It's a Dutch tradition where the children would reach into Santa's pocket and pull out a surprise. I want the slit, but no pocket. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I love Christmas, but each Christmas morn, I like to throw open my window and yell to the small children downstairs to fetch me the turkey down the street, and I'll give them half a crown. Oh, I just had a client come in. I gotta hold on. Let me talk to him. Let me talk to him for a moment. Uh, this is... I'm a potential customer. How do you feel they did with your order? Uh, they did really well. Now, has been all over me since I called. Oh, yeah? Now, this is between us. This is between us. She's insatiable, and I love it. I love it. Okay. Now, describe her for me, if you would. No, I'm going to pass. I got some no, other no, stuff no, to no, do, no, but no, no. I, I will do it in code. No, no, no. We'll do it in code. We'll do it in code. Listen, would you like to be an elf and come down my chimney? <laughs> Idiot. How may I help you? Hey, I wanted to know if I could book a party. Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, it's gonna be like 14 kids. Okay. Two weeks from two weeks from now, and then eight of the kids have measles. So eight of the kids are like they're sick, or no, they're not sick. They're just contagious. And then two are vegan. So I just want to make sure there's vegan options at the snack bar. Um. There are, I believe, um, did you say they were contagious? Uh, well, I mean, measles is contagious, but we're just kind of, they're riding it out. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. And the measles, it's just like natural measles. I, I know there's two different kinds. My mother's actually a doctor, and you said that, and I just wanted to make sure they weren't actually like, um, 
like highly contagious where I'd have to be. Did you say you're a doctor? No, no, no. My mother, my mother is. Oh, okay. So I was just wanting to make sure it wasn't going to be putting other customers or other children that are here kind of at risk. It will a bit, but that's just part of measles. But it's like the cute disease where they have the little, you know, the little red spots on their face. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and maybe can your mother be there? Because it always helps to have a doctor in the house. Actually, probably not because she has her own job. No, um, I hear you. And we don't need the doctor for the measles. It's just for the one kid who has leprosy. Will you actually give me one second? I'm going to check something real quick. I think we're just going to come come there now because uh tonight yeah yeah so i have a kid that actually just got seriously hurt and i need to go ahead and like call guys get in the van okay i'll see you then take care of that little kid all right love you bye can i tell you something quickly well i we are starting to get kind of a line of customers in here, and it's just me and my other coworker. Yeah, I made a beet powder smoothie, and uh, about 10 hours later, I was on the pot doing my business. Looked down, looked like Rosemary's baby in that toilet. Now that's happened to the best of us, right? Yeah. Right. So here's my little invention, and this could make you a real hit at the Whole Foods store. It's a Bircham beat bracelet. Give him a little, you know, like the Live Strong, Lance Armstrong bracelet. This is just a purple bracelet. You're sitting on the commode. You look down at your handiwork. You think you've had a prolapsed anus. And all of a sudden, you look at your bracelet and you go, oh, well, that's right. I had beats nine to 11 hours ago. Sweet idea. That is, actually. All right. Hello. Bobby? Yes. Bobby, this is Terrence Catheter. Jimmy Kimmel gave me your phone number. Okay. Because he thought you might be interested in this, and he said you were friendly. Uh, yes, I am very friendly. <laughs> I represent Millie Bobby Brown, who I'm sure you're familiar with. Yes, I am. And sometimes it is confusing to people because you are a global superstar and she is a global superstar and we've got a Bobby Brown and we've got a Millie Bobby Brown. And what she was hoping is she might be able to buy your name from you. No, Hmm? I'm not changing my name for nobody. Wow, this is a real punch in the stomach for me. She's getting a lot of exposure off using my name, period. I know that. Why would I change my name? Why would I change my name? Hear me out on this. Are you familiar with Crisco, the vegetable shortening? No. They would love it if you were to change your name to Bobby Crisco. And they would pay for this handsomely. No, I have a food line of my own called Bobby Brown Foods. So why would I change my name to Bobby Crisco? Because here's the thing. Millie is currently right now trademarking the name Bobby Brown. She can't trademark it. It's my name. Apparently, they've done some research, and they feel like the world now thinks Bobby Brown is a bald little white girl with superpowers on Netflix. No. So That's not what people think. They know my name long before she was even born. Would you consider changing to another color, like, say, Bobby Purple? I am not interested at all, sir. What about Bobby Beige? Are you playing with me? Are you serious? She's 15 years old now, and she's been firing people, and I just don't want to be on the other end of that. I'm 15 years old, and no, I'm not changing my name to Bobby Crisco or Bobby Beige. Why why don't she change her name? Oh, you know, I did suggest that, that maybe she just go by Millie Brown, but she's like, no, Millie, Bobby Brown, get him on the phone, make the deal, or you're fired. Well, I guess you're fired. (laughs) I'm not changing my name, though, sir. I am so sorry to waste your time with this. Thank you. And I guess our attorneys will be contacting you and serving you or whatever. Serving me? Well, yes, because, I mean... Listen, listen to me. I hope yes. this is a joke because threatening me to sue me for my name. Yes. Because some little girl wants to keep my name. It's my name. She wasn't even born when I was using my name. 
when you explain it like that, does feel a little bit unreasonable. In fact, you know what? You know, you know what? What if you were to change your name to not Millie Bobby Brown, just to make it clear? No. Like people could call you not Millie. Bobby? Tonight on Little Inbound, a man answers our ad for a free monkey. Thank you for calling CY Industries. Our call system responds to your voice commands. To continue, say yes. Yes. Okay. Please say your name. Wilson. Wilson. If this is correct, say yes, this is correct. No, it's not correct. Great, Milson. Wilson. To ensure this is not a robocall, please tell me how many traffic lights you hear in the following CAPTCHA. Traffic light, traffic light, side of barn, traffic light, stop sign, blurred picture of a bus. Three. Perfect. Just one more thing to make sure you're a real person. Would you mind clapping? If not, just say no clapping for me. Thank you for your patience. We're almost done, but first, can you tell me about the reason you called so I can further connect you? Craigslist ad. Great, so you're not calling about the Craigslist ad. That's great. Craigslist ad. Okay, hold on while I sing some hold music for you. Do, 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 da, 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 do, do, do. Da, 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 da. If you're calling about smegma removal services, say or press yes. If not, say, oops, not smegma. Oops, not megma. Megma? Are you talking about smegma or megma? Craigslist ad. Okay, I think I have everything now. you really given me a lot to work with here, and frankly, I'm proud of you. If you'd like to continue, please answer the questions provided to you by the bridge troll. So you've come this far, and you've done very well. But for now, you must answer a riddle I tell. What is blue, what is hot, what is covered in snot? Can you say them by name, or perhaps you cannot? Not sure. It sounds though the thoughts in your mind, they are swimming. So I'm sorry, you must return to the beginning. Thank you for calling CY Industries. Your wait time is five hours and 37 minutes and 17 seconds. 